Welcome to another video on my Fisitechnik hydraulics set and system uh, with this part uh, being automated programmed via Linux uh, with robo interface and screw pump which takes this one up and down and with that also that one up and down although air in the piston um, reduces the efficiency but focus is this manual part where I have made an extension here with these two pistons and that is not going uh, very well yet so um, I have locked this part so everything should go via this one these two are um, well uh, connected via a T piece and with this one um, retracted this one should come forward and uh, that one should um, also being like this but that is not happening right now and then this one should go like this and you see what happens there so the question is how can I get this done and one solution may be that I rotate these pieces um, a little bit so I can make um, a stronger part here I'll let you I'll show you what I mean but if it is the solution that's another question so let's see okay I have now separated um, the pivot from the uh, connection parts the first connection part so I have to turn them 90 degrees in that way to make things hopefully work out this one as well then kind of critical part this one should go here somehow but and that's a critical part as well the distance has to match and that is going to be a little bit of a problem right now here it does match and for uh, stability it should not be like this but more like this so it seems like my idea isn't going to work out the way I had anticipated it how is this going to be? I can of course put things more uh, to the inside but how will that work out for the rest? because you can see that this isn't very stable and if I have connected them it will be more stable let me just try it out um, this one going to be closer and that's only for this one but that gives a problem here I think yeah because this knob has to be in here which will not which won't work so not even that idea will do okay so if that is not going to work out how will it work out? That's a very good question. Um, I have to think. One solution I thought I had found is to widen the distance even more, then have these um, connection pieces cross, but that gives a problem because this is 
like not uh, really um, making it a solid connection in the sense that you can't move then those parts like this because this has to be prevented. Um, the other problem with this solution is that it is wider than um, this can be. So uh, you have one groove here and one groove there uh, beyond this point. So either way it's not a solution. So I'll have to deal with it the way it is and see how this works out. And that turns out to be a different solution. Which is uh, moving this one, uh, this piston a little bit to the inside, make an extension here and make a connection here after turning this one for 90 degrees. Does it work? Well, not precisely. So, this one works, but this one is too flexible now. So, let me the camera, camera up again. You can see this one move a little bit. And this one too. So, it's not rigid enough yet. Um, how to solve that? That's not a good question. Does it work without this piston? Oh, beautifully. So this one is even without this an improvement. Yes. But with this one, that's not an entirely different question. And interesting one. So how can I improve that one? I'm not quite sure. And well, I um, consider um, the, the problem of the manual operated part. Let me check the um, Python operated part, the automated part. So let's run. And of course, there's the problem of the air in that system. But considering um, this band that runs, and uh, now let's see if that light is still yes. Everything seems to run fine. But that's a good one. Um, last time I said that the um, manual operated part or this part could be motorized as well, but that seems not to be a very great idea. I do have a motor to um, be switched off, uh, to be uh, able to be switched on, but for that this should work first. And as long as that doesn't function correctly, I'll have to postpone that. Another question is of course how to engage it, because right here I will have to have uh, enough um, connection points for the motor, and I see that I have one motor um, input or output rather left which is motor 4 so um, in terms of wiring it is possible so that's good maximum speed here is good it is still functioning so um, in that respect um, everything is all right Fortunately. 
and with um, this reconstruction here um, with some work to do and the uh, operation test of the uh, automated part I th thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel uh, and give the video a thumbs up please leave a comment or suggestion very much appreciated and if you like everything uh, then you may consider uh, becoming a patron and have your name mentioned depending on the pledge you make or becoming co-producer or whatever um, or just um, donate uh, via PayPal or IBAN. You can also follow me via Twitter and Instagram. Um, this is obviously going to be continued, so for now have a nice day, stay safe and bye bye.